When you drop in the water and you see a living coral reef, it's spectacular. I always think about coral reefs almost like apartment buildings. The structure of the reef provides a home for so many species. It is like a party. At first glimpse, what you see are the big fish. And then if you look closely, you may find little things. They're all going around, hiding from each other. Some of them are chasing each other. It's something so beautiful to behold. And above it all, you will find the big predators, the sharks and the barracudas. They're patrolling the reef. It's a marvelous thing to see, and it's just a wonderful thing when you can spend time underwater and just watch. Every coral reef is different, and it's the subtleties that make them really unique and beautiful. A lot of these reefs are covered in soft corals that are very, very different. You know, they almost look like a plant. They are complex animals to understand because they don't look like animals. The one thing that they all have in common is that they can only survive because they have a symbiotic relationship with a tiny algae that lives inside their bodies and that provides them with energy through photosynthesis. Coral reefs are a great indicator of the health of our planet because they have a very narrow tolerance to conditions in the ocean. So if the perfect conditions are not present, coral starts suffering. When the waters become warmer, the corals become stressed and they spit out their little tiny algae. Then they start bleaching and they die. And when the corals die, the reef starts disintegrating and pretty soon there's nothing but a pile of rubble. What I'm thinking about when I encounter a reef that's dead or dying is the communities that used to get their food and other materials from a living reef who can no longer do it. And they no longer have the protection of the reef from storm surges. I think the coolest thing about corals is that much like the rest of the animals in the ocean, they're really resilient. And when you give them a chance, they bounce back. I love knowing that there's efforts around the world to start restoring the coral reefs that have been lost or damaged, and that every day we learn more and more about how to propagate corals and how to replant them in the ocean so that they can start rebuilding the ecosystems on which so much of humanity and so much of the ocean depends. Our planet is lucky and blessed to have these amazing ecosystems and we should do everything we can to protect them so that our children can see them too.